Hey, do you watch my videos because they help you sleep at night or because they ease the tension in your body? That's awesome. Also, you would definitely benefit from the free private training that I made just for you. But I need you to sign up below because it's only a few days away and you're going to learn the technique that I created by combining ancient wisdom with our most advanced science. This technique gives you the feeling like you just watched an entire ASMR video in one single easy to learn step. This technique gives you the feeling like you just heard the most satisfying spinal crunch with every breath that you take. This technique releases the medicine that's already inside of you. To make sure you sign up with the link below, it's the best video I ever made and I made it for you. Go ahead, sign up right now before you watch this video. Hurry up and go sign up. There's only a few days left. I'll see you there. Definitely neck pain, um, some lower back pain, but mostly I feel tension in my neck. Okay, let's start with that. How long back can you remember having neck pain for? When I started as an esthetician, okay. so about three years ago. What are the mechanics of your job? I am constantly hunched over, necks, you know, looking over the client, and it just causes a lot of stress in the neck area, so. So how often do you say that you have the neck pain? Is it every time you work? Pretty much every time I work. When I, and then it's kind of stays there for a day or so as well. If I have off, it's kind of there the next day too. So, but okay. yeah. All right, do you ever have any pain that goes down your arms? No, but it does tend to go, because I'm a righty and I'm constantly like mixing up my wax pot, it tends to go to the shoulders as well. Okay, do you get any headaches ever? Probably once a month, yeah. Okay, yeah. once a month. How, about, how often do you have the low back pain? That's not as frequent, but recently I did have it really bad, like three days ago, so. How about jaw? I do have TMJ. Hey, before we get started today, I wanna to tell you that I've handled the medical aspect of hundreds of personal injury, workers' compensation, and auto accident cases. And trust me, it matters who your lawyer is. Guys, we pay for insurance every time we turn around. Car insurance, renter's insurance, home insurance. Your employer pays in insurance in case you get hurt at work. So if you've been in an accident, why wouldn't you use a lawyer? What, are you just gonna work through the pain and probably make it worse? Are you gonna swallow all that missed income because you think it's a hassle to hire an attorney? Well, with Morgan & Morgan, it is so simple. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without ever having to leave your couch. From your phone, you can upload documents, upload your medical bills, sign contracts. You can even text your attorney throughout the duration of your case. Look, do I wish we lived in a society where everyone just helped everybody? Yes, I do. But Morgan & Morgan is literally a law firm for the people. That's why over 3 million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan. So if you've been injured, you can check out the link below for more information. Okay, looking at the feet first, looks symmetrical. Heel strike, mid stance and toe off on the right or normal. On the left, I do see a little bit of, uh, right during mid stance, there's a, there's a little bit of a wobble. I couldn't even tell. It looked like a supination at first, but right at the end on the instep, Right before toe off on the left, there's pronation. Okay, we're gonna go back the other way. So we'll look at the uh, Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon uh, does look slightly, uh, we do have a slight uh, genuvera right side. Okay, looking at the shoulder height, looks like we have a high left shoulder, a sh high left shoulder confirmed, and then we have a left lateral flexion uh, of the head tail, so a high right mastoid process, matching the left high shoulder. Uh, looking at the hip height, hard to tell from here, but possibly a higher right hip is where I would say from now. It looks like it, it, it might be a lower left gluteal pull, so possibly left PI. We'll see there. All right, checking the arches here. They're symmetrical. Turn our face the other way. Okay, no bowing here. If if it is just slightly everted, <clears throat> on the, slightly everted on the right side, that's what we were seeing here, but no pronation really. High right hip, high right hip with a high uh, left shoulder. Okay, just observing the spine, we're gonna look at the height of the scapula. It is higher on the left. And then looking at the height of the hips, still higher on the right, high right hip, high left shoulder. Kind of lift up your head just a little bit. 
with a high right mastoid process. High right mastoid process might come into play later, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine to start. Mm -hmm. Very symmetrical tension actually throughout the spine. The tone is very symmetrical. A little bit more favored to the left. You did say that you're a righty, correct? Mm -hmm. So a little bit higher tone. It's like there's just a little bit more tension over here, which is weird because you're using this one. Yeah. And that tells me that your body likes motion for sure because this one feels, um, this one doesn't have as much tension on this side. But this is where you feel it, this is where you're having all of the issues. Mm -hmm. So we'll dig in a little bit, uh, a little bit deeper and see if there's anything revealing itself. This is a temperature evaluation. This is the back of the fingers. They're more sensitive to temperature. Very consistent, very smooth. There's definitely more warmth from about the lumbar up. This is all very consistent here. And then it, it cools off and this is very, uh, this is very temperate here over top of the sacrum. Uh, and it's consistent from left to right too. So nothing crazy going on here. We're going to dig a little bit deeper into the spine now. Some hypertonicity here in the upper, upper rhomboid. Much more fluid and bouncy down in the lumbar spine. This is tense up here, this, mm -hmm. this right trap. There's the most amount of tension right here. These feel the same to you, left or right? Yeah, they feel great. Left is a little more sensitive there, yeah, we'll this, say that. You know, it's the left rhomboid and the upper right trap here. And then this is very symmetrical. There's no excessive dampness or dryness in your spine too. Your skin is very symmetrical. Good, very even and consistent. Just a little bit of this postural thing that you were talking about right here with that leaning forward. You don't have a hump here or anything. Mm -hmm but it's going to be important for you to maintain awareness of that posture so that you don't get one here mm -hmm. because it wants to slope. It wants to go forward mm -hmm. yeah, and you're getting jacked up here. It's, you're doing this thing. You're doing this lean. You don't have any curvatures in your spine. So uh, there's no huge red flags here, no disc issues, no pinched nerves, but there's just some mechanical stuff here that we have to straighten out. Okay. Let's go like this. Now bring your chin down to your chest. Good. Back up. But we do have a good amount of restriction here on this C5-6 segment. Let's go above that. C4 is moving fine. C5. We're going to go like this now. Right ear down to your shoulder. Good movement there on left lateral flexion. And then not as much here. Tell me, what does this feel like from left to right for you? Which side feels more tense? Um, right. Going to the right. We have that high right mastoid process of so possibly left. Atlas. Here the next. Okay. All right, so you're gonna feel that my fingertips on the back of your pelvis here, on the back of your hamstrings, excuse me. We're gonna slide up to the glute fold here. Yours is lower on the left, which doesn't match that high right hip here. But lower glute fold on the left slightly, looking from the top. We're externally rotated on the right slightly. So the right one has gone forward and out, and the left one has gone back mm -hmm. and in. So it's just like this little rotation here that's happening. Okay, no curvatures here. There is a slight deviation. We've got one segment right in the mid thoracic spine. Go ahead and stand up. Let me see what segment this is. This is beneath the rhomboid segment. But this one segment definitely sticks out. Go ahead and uh, go back forward. Here, this is like an, uh, let your head relax. Good. Anterior segment right here. Let your head relax completely. Good. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. T six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. T five, T five, and T seven. Check five and seven. Okay, stand up. Okay, just looking for postural sway here. Tiny movements in posture. There's a, a lean to the left, forward. A little bit of unsteadiness there. Good forward rocking there. Again, forward. 
tiny bit to the right, but mostly just forward and backwards, A to P sway. Okay, that's good, you can open your eyes. That's good, that means you have stability in your pelvis. Good. Okay, let your shoulders relax here. Good. Tender. Mm -hmm. Tender. Mm -hmm. Here's that T7. So this is definitely, we have to address this T7 right here. Good. A couple of things here in this transition. Stair stepping multiple segments looks like 10. The spine is all right sided. So you had all these left side shoulder muscle rhomboid stuff, right side trap, but when we dig into the spine, it's all on the right side here. Everything wants to move out this way, it's what it feels like. So to center you, we're just gonna have to align it in this direction. The musculature is higher on this left side than the right when you're laying down. Any more relaxed in the shoulder here? Yeah, mm. that's good. Any tenderness here? No, not really. Tenderness here? Yep. <laughs> Upper left SI, lower SI, tenderness here? Only a little bit, yeah. Lower right and here? Mm, kind of, yeah. So a little bit of SI stuff here. Let's push down into the SI joints, compression test. Do you have any tension discomfort here? Mm-hmm. Tension discomfort here? No. Tension discomfort here? No. Here? Mm -mm. Here, let your spine relax a little bit more. That's it, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not too bad. Just a little bit of L5 and then S L5, S1 on the right, lumbus and sacrum on the left. Mm -hmm. Good down. Take your left hip up like this. Good down. More tender on the left or right here? Left a little. Nice gentle breathing. Just gonna work out some of this tension. Breathing, let your shoulders relax into it a little bit. A little bit more, you got any more relaxed in there? Good. pressure, okay? Yep.
Okay, nice and gentle breathing. Let's practice one first so you can mm -hmm. feel what it's like. Oh, you've been adjusted before, but mm -hmm. let me feel your spine while you breathe. So you're going to take a deep breath in and out. I'm going to follow your breath down like this. At the end of your breath is when we give a little push, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try here. Deep breath in. Shoulders relaxed, sinking in. Mm -hmm. Same thing in. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> One more time. Let the shoulders relax a little bit. There you go. Mm -hmm. Good. Deep breath in. And then softly let it out. Let it all go. Softly. Good. Let it get sink. Ooh. Got it there. <laughs> Elbows in and then slouch down, slouch forward. Okay, you're gonna breathe in, and then as you breathe out, we're gonna lean back, hold the slouch the whole time, okay? Okay. Okay, deep breath in. Breathe out. Go lean back. Keep breathing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a low back. Have you ever had this one before? I don't think so, no. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to slide the top leg up like this. The bottom leg stays straight. I'm going to okay. slouch it forward here to the end. Okay. We're going to pull this shoulder out like this, just a little bit like that. Bring your head forward just a little bit. Right there. Okay, so just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath. Okay, as you breathe out, we're going to stretch your shoulder up like this and your hip down like this, and then we push there, okay? Okay, okay a little bit more forward your shoulder. This has to be nice and straight. Good. Okay, let's give that a try again. Deep breath in and out. Good shoulder relaxing, coming up. Good, bringing the hip just a little bit more. Good. Bring back. That felt. I said that felt amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good, nice and gentle breathing. Good, sinking in. The shoulders come up. Oh, good. One more time. Deep breath in. Now, the shoulders coming up. Good sink. Ooh. In your back. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, left shoulder on supine as well. Let's do this. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Okay, that made it even. Back to center. Good. Now turn your head to the left. Back to center. We have a left atlas. Let's do this. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Back to center. Good. Left ear down to your shoulder. Good. Back to center. Bilateral upper cervical. So we may have an anterior left atlas. All right, I have to look at one more thing. Sorry, do a While you are high left, sh high right hip, high left shoulder, and then back. So high right mastoid with a left. So the left posterior. Okay, play by time.
and gentle. I'm gonna do the left side first. I'm gonna bring your head over to the side like this. Okay. And then just try to like let your head just completely relax mm -hmm. into the table like that. Good. Just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath as you breathe out. We're gonna go like this, and a little push in that direction like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, gentle breathing, good. But let the head just sink in and fall right there. Good. good. Following this breath, next breath will follow the next breath out. You're doing good. Oof. Whoa. <laughs> Take one. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see what this right side says, because this is where all that tension is. First, I'm going to test this right side first and see where it needs to be adjusted. So let your head completely relax. Good, and let your head drop in. Mm -hmm. Go testing. Seven, six, seven, mm -hmm. one, two, spasm on two. Go, where do you feel it more? Here or here? The second one. Down low, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice and gentle. We're going to test a little bit more. So we'll see. Okay, letting your head completely relax into the table here. Good. Good, letting it drop down with the breath. Soft breathing and just let, it, let the head drop in. Good. Good, one more time, let it go, let it drop. Good. Whoa. <laughs> It's still tingling right now. <laughs> In your neck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm, that was nice. my fist in between your knees. Okay. Let me see. There you go. Okay, now squeeze as hard as you can. I think it went a little bit. Right? Yeah, it did. It yeah. did. So yeah. we first start with the ileocecal valve. This is the window between the large and the small intestine. So we're going to locate it by first finding the belly button. Yours is here. Your ASIS, your hip bone, yours is here. We connect these two points like that. That's where we begin looking for the ileocecal valve. Good, yours is very calm right now. It might be a little bit tender. Not much going on there, that's good. Good, we're gonna do the pyloric sphincter now. This is the window between the stomach and the small intestine. Did you eat today? Did I eat today? Yeah, I ate today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you eat today? I had pasta. When? Like four hours ago. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you you digest very fast, is what yeah. that tells me. Yeah. Because there's actually nothing. No, none of the valves are active. It's like you already processed it. I did. <laughs> okay. Cool. I did. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is a diaphragm manipulation now. So we're just going to come around the diaphragm. Do you know how to belly breathe? Mm -mm. So breathe, push your belly out. Good. Now pull your belly back in. Good. Push your belly out again. Pull it back in. Good. One more deep belly breath. And out. Good. Same thing. Keep going. Very gentle diaphragm manipulation here.
might be a little bit more. Just do a couple more belly breaths, quiet belly breathing. Okay, let's see. Open. Damn. Mm -hmm. Close. Open your jaw halfway. Now push your jaw to the right against my hand. Good. Push, push, push. Mm. Good. Left. Open. Mm. Push to the left. Relax onto my hand here. Let this down. Jaw slightly open. Good, letting it all go and sinking in. See if you can just let this relax down here. Good, now let this here. Ooh. That one's even better. to your belly okay just like the other adjustments we're following your breath okay i'm going to use the towel to support your neck you okay with that yep okay we're going to go like this okay as you breathe out we're going to follow your breath and then at the end of your breath we pull like that okay 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 nice gentle breathing go and take a deep breath in and out very good we're going to follow the next breath out let's do that one more time in good and out <laughs> wow. Did you feel it all the way down? Ooh, yeah. I'm still feeling it. <laughs> yep. Wow. It dissipates. <sighs> yeah, just hang in there. It goes away. I definitely needed that though. Yeah. For sure. There was definitely some uncrinkling in your neck. I'm still feeling it. <laughs> where do you feel it the most right now? My right. Okay, good. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly where you need to feel it. That was awesome. Yep. Yeah, I was trying not to say like a curse word. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, let me <laughs> contain my words first. <laughs> uh, that was nice though. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Go ahead and stand up. Walk around a little bit. Let's see how it feels. <sighs> Oof. It feels lighter. Nice. I feel free. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, those are good things. Yeah. Definitely not as much tension. Shoulders are even. Yeah. Yeah, your head is even too. Put your hands on top of your hips. Yep, still a little bit higher on the right hip, but that's okay. Those the hips are harder to uh, resolve. Go drop your arms again. Yeah, but your right and left shoulder. Even Steven. Put back together. Good. We have the high left shoulder, so we're going to bring that shoulder down, and we're going to tilt back away from it this way. That one there, I still feel it a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Here, let this relax. This is the rest, huh? Mm -hmm. Does it hurt when I do that? Uh, some tension, for sure. Here, try to let it go. Does that hurt? You're, you're guarding it. You're definitely protecting it. I know, I know. Just try to let it go. We're going to just work out the tension like this for a minute. Let it go. Yep. We always guard and protect the things that are important to us. <laughs> you use it for your work, so it's a little bit more like your body's more tense about it. 
Here, I'll let it go later. Shoulders are back. Mm. Same thing. Push. Oh, a little bit more. Good. All right, let the shoulders relax, your hands relax, bring your chin down to your chest. Good, we're gonna lean forward like this just a little bit and pull this up. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try here, deep breath in. Okay, nice, gentle breathing, good. Good shoulder relaxing. Shoulders relaxed, sinking in. Keep breathing. Gentle, 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 sinking in.